a new memorial has been dedicated to all those who graduated as an army apprentice, a scheme that ran from the 1920s until it was closed in 2004. The Old Boys Association of the former Arborfield, Carlisle, Chepstow and Harrogate schools clubbed together to raise the £40,000 needed. Our reporter Kaya Lark was there. A special ceremony saw 120 former pupils and their families gather to see the unveiling of the new Army Apprentice Memorial. More than 70,000 soldiers graduated from one of each of the four schools that are represented here. Among them, Major John Phillips, who started out as an engine fitter before joining bomb disposal and becoming the only soldier ever to receive the Navy's Distinguished Service Cross. We arrived on August the 26th, I can remember the date, I can remember the journey down on the train from Coventry where I met up with other boys who it was obvious was going to the same Army Apprentice scheme and we all arrived at Chepstow at the same time, uh, met at Chepstow Station by a national serviceman Lance Corporal who took us and put us on the bus and said drop these boys off at Beachley Camp. It was like a boarding school environment where you had um, Batman when you were younger, you had to clean the kit of the older boys. Every morning uh, when I was there, we had to go to church. And um, there was the Catholics, there was the C of E's, and there was nonconformists. And then um, at the church, you had a sh very short, brief uh, church service, and then you ran from the church to the square. Now, I'm a Church of England fella, but the Church of England church was further away from the square than the Roman Catholic church, so I quickly changed and I went to the Roman Catholic services every morning and then I ran the shorter distance to the square. Um, and then we formed up as a school on the square every day and we marched off to the workshops or education, whichever was, you know, whatever you were doing at the time. The three year at Chepstow gave me all the qualifications I needed to succeed in the army. Oh, it's a fantastic three years. It's given me an awful lot and it's made me the man I am today. I went to a field squadron which is where most of the Royal Engineers go. And with that field squad, and I traveled many places, went to Canada, building bridges in Canada. My post into Australia came up on the atom bomb test range in Maralinga, South Australia. Anyway, I took it because what an opportunity for a 21 year old to go to Australia for a, for a year. And I stayed an extra six months. And then of course the British government closed down the test systems and we were all sent home. And that's when I got posted to bomb disposal. I was a sergeant major in, in bomb disposal and um, the Falklands happened. We'd cleared a bomb on board HMS Argonaut the day before. She had a boiler room problem, there was an unexploded bomb in there, so Jim and I went on board and we dealt with that and got rid of it. Uh, and then the next day we were tasked to Antelope for exactly the same problem. She'd got two unexploded bombs on board um, and they were crying out for help. And um, after several attempts to render this bomb safe, um, we, we, we couldn't do it. We, it wasn't as straightforward as the day before. So we had to change our technique slightly and, and changing the technique, I think, actually did the job. It set the bomb off. And of course, um, with the explosion, um, Jim was killed instantly. The, the hatchway door hit him fair and square in the, in the chest and killed him instantly. And the um, same door took my arm off. I do blame myself. I was the boss. It was my decision to do what we did. Having had 29 and a half years to think about it, I probably would have done something different, but that's, that's life. Sorry. Well, I think the memorial is a fantastic thing. I think it's brilliant. I think it's a great idea, and quite rightly too. And I think they've uh, started something where you can actually purchase a, a um, slab with someone's name on it that you wish to remember, because it is a memorial after all. But I don't know how many have contributed to that. But I think it's a brilliant idea, this memorial. That was Major John Phillips. Well, the Army Apprentice Scheme ran for more than 80 years, but was closed down in 2004, graduates having served in every conflict from the Second World War to Afghanistan. And the centre of the memorial stone here is a carving of the cap badge that every apprentice wore. Many of them gave their lives in active service, and there are individual plaques honouring those who couldn't be here today. Kaya Lark, Forces News at the National Memorial Arboretum.